Yo, what's up guys? So today's video is going to be like a compilation of optimistic tech news that I saw this week. I think that the media in general is super pessimistic about tech and especially like hard tech breakthroughs are kind of like underlooked. So I just wanted to compile that and uh, try to find some cool like engineering advancements. So let's get into it. Okay, so first up, the UAE becomes the first Arab nation to open a nuclear power plant. This is awesome. I'm super pro-nuclear. They're called the Baraka reactors. They're currently building the first unit. There will be four units total, and once they're all completed, it will power 25% of the nation's needs. Said it is receiving some criticism for skimping on key safety features, such as being able to prevent terrorist attacks. Hopefully, they eventually decide to build these features in. And in more energy news, the world's largest nuclear fusion reactor, also known as the IDER project, is finally being built. This project has been funded since the 1970s and it's always been slightly underfunded, but remarkably, they've still made some progress and it looks like they're starting to make more. IDER stands for International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor and it's based on the principles of a tokamak. This is what IDER's tokamak looks like and this is the coil inside of it. Also, fun fact, this coil produces a strong enough magnetic field that it can lift up an aircraft carrier. Okay, so now for some neuroscience news. Two researchers reverse dementia in mice. Essentially, there's an enzyme called P38-gamma which, when activated, prevents the toxic effects of memory loss, and you can increase this enzyme using gene therapy. And once activated in these mice, it didn't just stop the memory loss, it actually started reversing it. Anyways, the full paper will be published soon. Okay, now for some space stuff. Rocket Lab, they had a launch failure a few weeks ago when the satellite failed to deploy, and they finally diagnosed the problem, and now they're cleared to launch again. It turns out there was a single electronics issue in which a piece of wiring came loose and then caused the engine to shut down. As for other small rocket companies, Astra is launching in Alaska this weekend. Hopefully they finally launch this time. And lastly, we have some really positive news from SpaceX with the Crew Dragon disconnecting from the ISS and bringing Bob and Doug safely to Splashdown in the ocean. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for Splashdown. SpaceX copies and concurs. We see Splashdown and mains cut. Dragon Endeavor has returned home. Also, there was this really sick shot of the thruster on the Crew Dragon as it left the ISS. Now, I know we all saw the Mars Perseverance rover launch, but I'm pretty excited about that because it's pretty awesome to send a rover to another planet. And the final piece of space news is that the Starship SM5 performed its static fire and everything went really well. Here's the static fire captured by NASA Spaceflight. Boom, some optimistic tech news. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of video and I'll keep making them if you guys do. I'm also working on a few essay type videos where I'm talking about the future of specific topics. Like I'm currently working on one called the future of bioelectricity. And so that will be dropping soon. And then I'm also going to be interviewing a few people. So definitely like this video, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next ones.